Meta Badgers. What's going on Badger Nation? Andy Coppins, Managing Editor here at Madtown Badgers, coming to you with a brand new feature. That's right folks, we're trying new things out this summer, and right now it's our brand new feature called From the Editor's Desk. It's my weekly effort to give you a video, and I kind of just get some stuff off of my chest, what kind of comes across here, and, and what I'm seeing from across Badger Nation. So with that in mind, From the Editor's Desk, this week's episode, all about the transfers that's right folks we're talking the transfers and well frankly for me it's not necessarily about the people that are transferring but it's about the buzz and the buzz word for me is turn over that word is kind of like a swear word around the Badgers athletic program first off Bo Ryan's crew we all know how they hate turnovers they love to create them, don't get me wrong, but they hate committing them. And for the most part, on the whole, in coaching and in players, turnover really doesn't happen all that often in Madison. And frankly, it's been steady as she goes, and the 2012-13 season may have been one of the best all-around years in the history of the school because of the lack of turnover. However, Turnover has become a bit more of the norm for the football program as of late, and it's also caused a near collective meltdown amongst some in the Badger fan base over the past 24 hours. In fact, if you've listened closely yesterday, as the news of Reggie Mitchell's transfer, as the news of that broke over the past day, you may have heard a collective gasp from Badger Nation which was quickly followed by the smack of fingers against keys as people took the message boards and comment sections to express the dire nature of what's happening in Madison. Oh my gosh, the sky is falling down. What is happening? Are there issues already with Gary Anderson? I mean, how could a guy who is going to be starting for our beloved Badgers pass that chance up? Sorry folks, I hate to tell you, but stop freaking out. What's happened over the past few days with the news of Danny O'Brien, Chase Knox, and Reggie Mitchell transferring is actually rather common when new regimes come on board. Just look across the college football landscape. Now it just so happens that we as Badger fans have been lucky enough not to have to deal with that for nearly a quarter of a century. It's been 23 years since we've really had to deal with this kind of a, a severe change in regimes. Now remember when Barry Alvarez came on board and players transferred out of the program, new blood was brought in? Neither do I, but I do know that it happened. Wisconsin was lucky to have their next head coach already on staff when Alvarez was ready, ready to retire the first time. And thus, everyone knew what they were going to be getting when our now ex-head coach became the new head coach back in 2007. Are you following along? Basically my point is this, turnover on the roster that time was not going to happen. Things are different in this new era now. Anderson wasn't on the UW staff for a few years waiting in the wings to take over like our ex-head coach was. And for me, that means he sees players in different ways. He wants different things out of people and sometimes those different things don't mesh with the personal goals of players in the program. Turnover is bound to happen in some way, shape, or form when a brand new group of coaches finally gets to working with a virtually unchanged roster. It doesn't mean something is wrong or we as fans should go into collective freakout mode either. Sometimes folks, these things just happen. Is there a right to be worried a bit about this Mitchell transfer? Maybe. I mean, after all, he was running with the ones all spring, and Anderson is high praise for the redshirt freshman. But, folks, the kid hasn't even played a single down of football in an actual game that matters ever in his career at Wisconsin. Think about that for 5.5 seconds. Okay, maybe not 5.5 seconds, but maybe a half a second. 
think about the proportionality of the freakout that has gone on to the actual facts of what we know about Reggie Mitchell. We have seen him for a total of two hours in, in totality, and those two hours weren't even full for him because it was the spring game. All we really know is he has promise. How many times has promise of a player not turned out? For me, I know this. College football and the Badgers history are littered with tales of promise never panning out to production. In fact, it happens nearly every single year. Let us also not forget that Mitchell being the opening day starter was never a given to begin with. Anderson and Aranda are bringing in a ball hawking safety from the Juco ranks in Donnell Vercher for a reason, right? I mean, the fact is, sitting here in June, we have no idea what would have happened. What if Vercher wins and Mitchell never panned out at Wisconsin? Why the freakout? If, Mitch, if Vercher doesn't pan out, maybe there are some other options out there. But frankly, we don't know enough in June. Sure, losing a talented player like Mitchell hurts a position group that is low on quality depth. At least depth with any experience behind it, and that's the key phrase. But, you also have to ask yourself this question. Do you really want someone on your roster who isn't buying into the program as a whole? Or, whose heart is hundreds of miles away somewhere out in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania? For me, the simple answer is no. Now, if we're talking about a mass exodus of players following this upcoming season, and the major roster turnover isn't about losing the massive amount of seniors that are on the roster as we speak today, then we have a different story to tell in December or January or February. But for now, step away from the keyboard and from the ledges. This is actually pretty normal when a new regime is put in place. Relax a bit and let's see what comes in August before we start freaking out, shall we? Remember folks, we as Badger fans have been hella lucky in the past 25 years to have to not deal with this. Hell, just look to the f folks in Eastern Dakota for all the roster turnover news and notes you need to know because frankly, in the past decade, they've gone through it over and over and over again. We haven't needed to deal with it, so stop freaking out. Again, this is Andy Coppins, Managing Editor, MadTownBadgers.com, and this has been a new edition of From the Editor's Desk.